So you want to be a coder, you want to be a developer, you want to be the person who creates the next big website or app. You want to create the next Instagram or the next Snapchat or the next Facebook or even the next YouTube. You want to change careers, you want to change the way you do work, you want to change the fact that you work in a 9 to 5 or you're working to help somebody else's dreams become a reality. You want to work on your own dreams. So what's holding you back? Why haven't you become a master coder yet? Why haven't you started learning how to code? Why haven't you taken the time to fully understand the syntax of some of the most easiest languages and then build your way up to the tougher ones? What's stopping you? What normally stops people is fear. What normally stops people from moving forward is the belief, the mindset that they do not have the capacity to learn how to code. Maybe you weren't the most gifted or talented person within your school. Maybe you weren't on the honor roll. Maybe you did not graduate as valedictorian of your college or university. That doesn't matter. I know you can learn how to code. I know you can learn HTML. I know you can learn CSS. I know you can learn JavaScript. I know you can learn PHP or Python. I know that you have the ability, the capability to create the next big thing. Now, how can I be so sure about this? How can I be so confident that you have the capacity to learn? This is the secret. You've already done so. You've already learned one of the most toughest languages to learn. You learned the syntax of your spoken language. You learned the grammar of your written language. You learn how to engage and how to engage in complex conversations with other people. Did it happen overnight? No. You didn't all of a sudden learn how to speak and have a vast vocabulary. It took time. It took effort. It took a consistent desire to learn. And as kids, as children, you were like a sponge. You absorbed everything around you. You absorbed the information. You digested it in within your brain. You did not have fear. Fear is what's holding you back from becoming the next great coder, the next master coder. Or maybe you get discouraged when you see that what once worked no longer works. Don't let fear stand in your way. Because as Walt Disney once said, all our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. That means if you're having a dream to become a coder, or if you're having a dream to start your own agency, or if you have a dream to create the next big app, then you gotta find the courage inside of you to push forward even when nobody else believes that you can. Even if you believe right now that you can't. Maybe today you can. But if you study, if you practice, if you research, if you take the tutorials and then you find a way to break up the tutorials and do something different with it, learn how the syntax of a coding language works, but then learn how to think like a programmer, think like a coder, think logically, if this then that. Learn about switch statements, learn about conditionals, learn about loops. Try to see how you can refactor code that already exists online. We live in an amazing time. All the code that you need to learn is right there free for you to look at. You can download WordPress and you can take a look at the code and see how they're doing stuff. You can do the same with Drupal, you can do the same with Joomla, you can go to GitHub and download source code. There's even code on GitHub about artificial intelligence, about machine learning, deep learning. These are complex fields, so I don't recommend learning straight from that immediately. But first learn the syntax, first learn the basics of the coding languages, and then gradually step up. Because as you were once a kid who did not know how to speak, but over time, one year, two years, three years, four years, five years, you will learn. But you might be saying, well, Joel, I need to make money today. I have responsibilities. That is true. And you can make money at every stage of the game. You could start off small, spend some time learning the syntax of the basic languages, build out a very simple site, use templates and use themes and use other resources to make your code presentation better. The tutorials are free right here on YouTube and other sites online that show you how to code. After your first year, you're gonna have a deeper understanding of how code works. After your second year, you're gonna become more of a junior developer. By the time you're in your fifth year, you're gonna have knowledge that you did not know you had. Because at that beginning stage, you didn't have it. But after five years, you got it. By the time you reach 10 years, 
If you put in the time, you can be a master coder. Sure, it's great if you have talent. Sure, it's great if you have a brilliant and beautiful mind, but you don't need that. As long as you have the capacity to learn, as long as you have the desire to learn, you can learn how to code. Don't hold yourself back. Because as Confucius once said, it does not matter how slowly you go as long as you do not stop. So you gotta get started, you gotta take your first step. It's like running a marathon. I ran the marathon in 2007. I was not a runner, I did it on a dare. I had less than six months to prepare and people were laughing, they said, Joel, how are you gonna finish a marathon? I said, how long do I have to train? They said six months. I said, so I'm gonna start off with step one. I'm gonna go for a jog. I'm gonna jog one mile. And I'm gonna gradually build up and then jog another mile, then another mile. Did I win the marathon? Obviously not. I finished it in about five hours. But I finished the New York City Marathon. So it doesn't matter how slowly you go as long as you do not stop. So this is a challenge. This is a call to action. Others will tell you that you don't have what it takes. I believe you do. Others will say you don't have the time. We all have the time. How much time do you spend on social media every single day? How much time do you spend watching TV? Gary Vaynerchuk once said that you should close your eyes for the next 10 years or close your eyes until you're 29 and just have tunnel vision and move forward. Don't get distracted by society. Don't get distracted by life. And if you do that, if you're young or even if you're 20, 30 or 40 years old, if you have tunnel vision and you focus on your goal within one year, five years and 10 years, you will see success that you otherwise would not have achieved. Because you have to remember, everything you've ever wanted is on the other side of fear. Now, fear can hold people back. Like I said before, you're going to mess up in the process. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to get errors within your code. Nobody is perfect. But the best way to learn is by making as many mistakes as you possibly can. And then figure out why that mistake happened. See how you can refactor your code. See how you can do something different. And even when you think you have it all down packed, keep learning. So if you want to become a web developer or web designer, if you want to create the next Instagram or Snapchat or Facebook or YouTube or whatever is coming next, then just make a decision. Do it. Make it happen. Don't allow anyone to tell you you do not have what it takes. You have to believe in yourself even if others don't believe in you. And vice versa. If the world believes in you but you don't believe in yourself, you're not going anywhere. So will you accept the challenge? Will you dedicate the time to learn how to code? Will you turn off your notifications on your cell phone? Will you get up a little bit early in the morning or go to bed a little bit later at night? Will you find time in the middle of the day to dedicate about 30 minutes or an hour to learning how to code? Will you give it the time that's required? That's a question that only you can answer. We all have 24 hours in a day. We decide how we want to use those hours. My recommendation, spend it on learning how to code. So what are you waiting for? Let me know what projects you want to code. Comment down below. Share your thoughts. Is fear holding you back? What are you afraid of? Let me know. And let me know how I can help you become a better coder. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you share this video with somebody who you think might benefit from it. And I will see you in the next episode. Code your empire.